Good morning guys, Unfrequented World, and today I've got a plan. I want to show you guys, well I want to show myself, I've never done this, we've never tested the new A7R 3 I've uh, showed you guys a clip of uh, focus tracking in uh, AFC and um, what mid-speed uh, motor bursts can do. Um, so now I want to do something, I want to test the camera and, and compare it to the A77 II, and I'll show you what we're going to do. So, as you can see, I've got a nice long driveway here, uh, two tripod set up. We'll put the phone on here to record the camera that's on here. And currently it's the A77 II. And the Tamron 150-600 version 2. And if I can get one of my kids to comply, we're going to run them out to the end of the driveway out there, uh, 100 meters or so away. And uh, we're just going to get her to run around and run in towards us. And what I want to do is test um, the autofocus uh, tracking on the A77 II. So we're actually going to try to track her as an object. And then we're going to put this on high speed and um, just do short bursts uh, for a second run. And then we're going to do the same thing with the A7R 3 We can only do AFC uh, high speed and we'll just do short bursts and do a third run. Then I'm going to take all of the pictures, drop them in a Photoshop and take a look and count out of the three runs uh, which ones I would consider to be keepers. And we'll get a number from uh, the two runs with the A77 II and the one run with the A7R 3 I'm not going to show you guys all the pictures because there's probably going to be like, you know, 300 pictures. But I will give you the numbers. I'll say, you know, out of uh, 70 shots, 42 were keepers or whatever. And we'll do some statistical analysis to see how does the A7R 3 keep up with the A77 II with the LAE A3 adapter and the Tamron 15600 G2. I have no idea. I've never had a subject come towards me and track it. Uh, I just haven't used the camera enough yet, so this is going to be a surprise to me as well. So let's get at it. This is the part of my job I love. Anna. Hey, time to get up. You want to do some running for me? No. Uh, I'm making a movie and I need uh, somebody to run down the driveway. That's Kaylee. She's going to swimming, so you're it. Okay, partner, I want you to just kind of walk back and forth uh, for a minute while I try to get tracking set up on you here, okay? All right. Okay, subject is in position. We're going to start tracking now. There she is. I've radioed her to start running in 10 seconds. And we've lost tracking. The tracking is not very good on these cameras. I don't care what anyone says, I use it for sports and it's you're better off using AFC. Come on, track you. Okay, I had to stop my runner. She wasn't running where I wanted, which was straight towards the camera here, down across the snow. She was running down the driveway, trying to take the easy way out. So we're going to uh, start that run again. And I will add those photos into the total of uh, what's in focus and what isn't. We took the shots. There's probably 25 shots there, so... And we've lost tracking again, as you guys can see. It's working better now that she's a little bit bigger. There we go, coming right at us.
and a full buffer. <laughs> okay, A77 II with autofocus, C and tracking. We've got 120 photos. Poor kid's out of breath. <laughs> and she's got to do it five more times. <laughs> Okay, so for the second run with the A77 II, we're going to change our focus to expanded flexible spot, and we're just going to use it in the center. And that should kind of replicate what we're going to get on the A7R3 uh, with center focus. It's going to use just the center box, which is about the same nine points. Okay, here we go. Run number two, A77 II. I'm just doing short bursts because that's what we're going to replicate. Oh, buffer is full. Okay, so the A77 II, the second run with autofocus C, we actually have 150 captures. Okay, so now we're on the A7R3. We've got uh, AFC 1 640th at 400 ISO. Okay, Hannah, give me a countdown. I'm ready when you are. Ten second countdown. All right. So as you guys can see, this is a lot of work to do these little tests. Oh, 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 no. Hannah, stop. Hannah, stop. Hannah, stop. Hannah, stop. <laughs> Dad forgot to put the camera on high speed mode. <laughs> Redo. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, now that I've got the camera in high speed mode, we're ready to do the run with the A7R3. Hannah, give me a five second countdown and away you go. From what I can see, it looks like the tracking in that center box is phenomenal. Even faster than the A77 II, to be honest with you. What are we capturing? I don't know. It's harder to keep her in that box, where when we use the actual tracking on the A77 II, it'll move around the whole frame. But it's not very reliable either, as we showed. Short bursts, short bursts, and we're out of buffer. Okay, I kind of screwed up that last run when she was running right towards us at the end. I forgot about short bursts and I held it down, so all of those are going to be out of focus. This is not a scientific test, I don't know. We're going to count these up. Okay, so what I've decided to do is just open each batch as a slideshow on the computer and view them um, full screen, not 100%, so I'm not gonna pixel peep these, and I'm gonna look for sharpness, what I would say that's good enough to keep that I could do, um, add to a slideshow, uh, video presentation, or print. So that's my criteria, and I'll show you guys a little section of what the, some of these look like uh, as a screen grab right now. And I'm basically just gonna count each one and say good or bad, and then we'll have our numbers at the end for each run. Okay, so I just did 120 photos from the A77 II with autofocus tracking. Watched them as a slideshow, and anything that the face was blurry, I didn't count. 
and surprisingly it was a really good number we've got uh, 12 out of 120 photos were out of focus of my daughter running so that gives us 10 percent shots out of focus 90 percent keepers for the a77 II with auto focus tracking and when she was running towards us right at the end surprisingly there was only one photo that was not in focus so this is where this camera is going to shine it's with the autofocus c and tracking Okay, I just finished the A77 Autofocus C test run, 150 photographs, and we had 38 of them that were not in focus. But of that 38, um, the last nine, were, when she was running right towards us at the end, were all out of focus. So up until uh, the point at the end where she started coming towards us, um, we had only missed 24 shots in between there, and it was just the last batch where it missed a few caught up and then it missed the last nine in a row but we'll leave that statistic in there so out of 150 shots with the a77 II in AFC mode we got 75 percent keepers okay okay so I just finished the third run the a7R3 we had 127 shots and 24 of those were missed by the a7R3 now here's the interesting part the last 15 shots when she was running towards me and I knew I screwed it up by holding down the shutter down the whole time, we missed those 15. So up until that point, out of 115 shots, we had only missed like four. What I'm finding, what I'm seeing is that the A7R3 uh, AFC module is so much faster, those little dots in the middle are moving so much faster and tracking so much faster, it was actually doing better than the A77 II AFC. No doubt about it, guys, hands down. The only problem where this camera runs into an issue uh, is when you have your subject moving towards you. You gotta do short, fast bursts. If you don't, you're gonna get two or three pictures that are in focus and then the rest are going to slowly fade out of focus because it's locking on the first shot. But up until then, I'm actually very surprised to see that the AFC is faster on the a7r3 with the lae3 no doubt about it hands down you can just see them moving that much faster and it shows i was surprised sitting here watching through 115 shots i'm like they're all good they're all good i'm like hey something's wrong so i know people are going to argue that fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the entire 127 shots into the timeline and if you guys are so inclined to sit here and watch at the end i'll record them in fast mode here in the slideshow and I'll throw them at the end and you can sit and watch, count them yourself. Uh, like I say, I got 24 out of 127 that I would say were not uh, good enough. Um, the rest, they are. So that's the stats, guys. All three cameras were pretty close. We'll just recap. 10% with the a 772 autofocus uh, C and tracking, which was by far our best rate, especially when the person was running towards you. The autofocus uh, C on the a 772 I did notice, like I say, 24 out of the first 130 shots uh, were out of focus when, when my daughter would turn and spin and go in another direction. It would sometimes miss those. So we ended up with 75% keepers on that run. And then the third run, we ended up with 19% uh, keepers in the A7R3. And the only part where it really stumbled was at the end where she was running towards us. So that's my unscientific test, guys. Yeah, we should do another nine runs, but... My daughter refuses to work anymore, and I'm not sitting here counting any more shots. So that's my findings. I want somebody else, please go out, do the same test, show me what you guys get. But if you're interested, that's what I found today. An unbiased, that's the truth, that's what we recorded. Thanks for watching.